Are you in the process of planning a move and trying to balance price with convenience? Well, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at UPAC, including four big things you need to know about their moving services. Hey everyone, this is Kyle from Money at 30, and on this channel, we look at personal finance from a millennial perspective, including money saving tip videos like this one. Take it from someone who knows, moving across the country can be a major pain. It can also be extremely expensive if you're hiring full service movers. Of course, renting a box truck may be cheaper, but it also means driving the massive vehicle yourself, not to mention keeping it filled up with gas. That's why the idea of UPAC is interesting and could allow you to save money while also saving the hassle of driving. With that, let's take a look at four things you need to know about UPAC and their moving services. The first thing to know about UPAC is that they are only intended for long distance moves and do have a minimum mileage requirement. If you're thinking about using UPAC for a crosstown relocation, you may be out of luck. Although the service doesn't seem to explicitly share what their minimum mileage requirement is, it will advise you if your move is disqualified when you attempt to get a quote. For that reason, you should only consider them as an option if your move is long distance. Next, there are two main UPAC options for most moves, either their moving trailers or their Reloqube moving containers. For most moves, customers will have the choice between packing their stuff in a 28-foot moving trailer or UPAC's Relo Cubes. One advantage over rental trucks is that, with the moving trailer, you only have to pay for the actual square footage you end up using. Similarly, if you find you've reserved more Relo Cubes than necessary, UPAC will only charge you for the containers you did need and remove the others for free. In terms of size, the moving trailer option could present a problem for those who can't accommodate a 28 foot long, 8 foot wide, and 9 foot tall trailer. Meanwhile, the Relo cubes measure 6 feet 3 inches long and 7 feet wide, allowing them to fit into a standard size parking spot. Ultimately, price may also be a factor, as costs between the two options can vary depending on your needs. As I mentioned, you can get a free quote for your move by visiting UPAC's website, and while you're there you can also view different delivery options before making a reservation. Something that's nice about UPAC's site is that you can get a free quote for your move without needing to provide an email address. That said, the quote will display at the top of the page whenever you return to the site, and making any changes will then require you to enter an email address. After you've made a selection, you can start looking at additional options and even make your reservation online. Among the options you may notice is that if you want your UPAC trailer or Relo cubes to arrive at your new home on a specific date, you'll need to pay extra for guaranteed transit. Another option allows you to hold your stuff in storage for up to a month for an additional fee. I should also mention that, if you're looking to save money, UPAC does offer a discount if you do your loading at one of their facilities instead of at your home. Finally, when calculating your costs with UPAC, you might want to consider their additional insurance options and pay attention to their liability policies. When you get a quote from UPAC, it will include catastrophic liability coverage should something happen to the trailer, as well as carrier negligence liability coverage of 10 cents per pound. However, if you'd like to increase that figure, you can purchase additional coverage at a rate of one, two, or three dollars per pound. It's important to note that even with this extra insurance, UPAC does not cover any damage that results from improper packing or loading. Therefore, you'll definitely want to make sure your possessions are secured and perhaps follow the company's packing advice to prevent any damage. Hopefully this gives you a better idea of what UPAC is all about, but for much more on the service, I'll have a link to an article on Dyer News in the description box down below. Also, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, and be sure to subscribe because we have new videos every week. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time here on Money at 30.